Welcome to Belmont Girls Varsity Soccer on this Wednesday night. I'm joined by Sean Golding. Good evening, Good evening everybody. Looks like uh, it's a gorgeous night out. No wind. A balmy, say, 55 degrees. I'd say so. Yeah, perfect conditions to play. Girls will like this. Game's getting off to a, late, a little bit of a late start. It was, uh, was slated to go off at 6.30. It's now 7 o'clock. Uh, Wilmington's bus <laughs> was not, arrived late, so... <coughs> The girls from Wilmington just been just got here about 20 minutes ago and had a quick warm-up, so hopefully Belmont can take advantage of that. Well, we'll see. So I think Wilmington this year is 4-4-2 uh, four, four the last time I checked, although there may have been a game played this week uh, that may have changed that slightly. But by and large, uh, they seem to be having a pretty solid season. Belmont, I think, is... 7-3-2 and two or so? Or sounds about right. Yeah. About right. And uh, over the past couple of games, they've really gelled. Uh, we can really see some consistent play, some consistent passing, some stability in the lineup, and uh, where people are supposed to be. Yeah, absolutely. I think what, what you've seen is really the team kind of starting to gel. I mean, let's call it what it is. There was some injuries on soccer night, three big injuries on soccer night. And I think at first, you know, I think the uh, team didn't know how to quite handle that. And I think over time with some with some confidence and some good leadership, I think they've started to gel and it's started seeing really some really positive results. I mean, and it's, um, you know, the other day uh, on Monday, they had the game against Burlington, an away game in Burlington, and they, and they won pretty easily. It was a 3-0 win. And they looked solid. I think, you know, nobody wants to see injuries, especially to, you know, a number of your really key players on the team. But at the other side, it's really given a lot of other players a chance to step up, uh, build some confidence, get a little more comfortable working with their teammates on a more consistent basis, and the results are paying off. Yeah, for sure. And it also tests, it tests your depth. You know, you look at your bench and you look what you have and you start adjusting your game. And quite frank, frankly, I think we've seen in the last couple of games, we've discussed how, you know, earlier in the season it was tough to see the nonverbal communication. You know, the quick give and goes and things like that. Over the last couple of games, you can see with some confidence and some basic familiarity that that stuff was starting to happen. You're seeing a lot of give and goes. You're seeing it like a lot of, you know, not, not, even, not even a shout to be someplace. People just were, were where they needed to be, went to where they needed to be and where they were expected to be. So I think that just made things a lot easier and it actually made things quite difficult on the opposing teams. It seems for long periods of time, whether it be Burlington or whether it be Wakefield, they were really chasing the game and, 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 and Belmont had the better of the ball. And yeah, and I think a lot of that comes down to when the team is able to quickly move the ball and know where their, their teammates are going to be, uh, becomes a defensive challenge for the other team. And it's really allowed them to establish uh, some presence in the midfield and transition quickly from the defense to the midfield, back up to the offense. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's led to some great results. And, and I think another thing to know from the last game with that is I think the team speed has really showed. I, I mean, yeah. I, I think we were watching the Burlington game the other day, I think I said it a few times that, you know, some of the speed from up, up top from, from Belmont was giving some, you know, giving that um, uh, Burlington defense some fits. They've been having an awful hard time dealing yep. with the speed at many levels. By the end of the game, they were, they were wiped out. Yeah, they were exhausted. So, looks like we have a thin bench here with Wilmington. Hopefully, we had the same exact result. See, so it looks like we're about ready to kick off. Uh, looks like another another minute or two. I think they're giving uh, Wilmington. A few extra minutes to warm up, but Belmont is uh, done with their pregame rituals. Looks like they're ready to line up onto the field. Okay, looks like Elsa Kimberly's back into the mix, coming back from her injury from soccer night. That's good to see. It's good to see. It's good to see her come back. Um, you know, it's been a couple weeks since then. Obviously, she's comfortable enough to play. That's a great thing. Good to get her back in there. Hopefully, she'll find her feet quite quickly and um especially at, you know it's, it's it's what is it 60 percent of the season done 70 percent yeah but pretty much yeah pretty much, yeah uh, but, but definitely past the halfway point definitely past halfway point it's nice to get some touches on the ball if you've had to take a few games off uh before we get into the final push the last four games of the season i think we'll be up against some stiff opponents and uh it's good to start getting prepped and ready for that yeah. so it looks like belmont is <coughs> lining up in that uh 4-2-3-1 format that we've been seeing for much of the season, but we've also seen them switch out of it here and there in games, so let's, let's curious to see how this goes today. Okay, Wilmington starting fast. And there looks like it's, oh, nope. 
Glavin on defense. Looks like Wilmington keeping the ball in the corner, maintaining control. And cleared out for a Wilmington throw. <clears throat> so that is a quick start. So yeah. it looks like there's at least uh, some a few players on Wilmington with some solid speed. They look like they're ready to run. That's a good sign. Okay, quick clearing again. Oof. Another Wilmington throw deep <clears throat> in the Belmont end. Looks like Wilmington's got four in the back. That means is uh, if there's a quick transition, Glavin with a nice header out to Wilmington. Wilmington takes it down. Crowd of Belmont. Yeah. Defenders Crowd. around her. Nice transition out. There's okay. a pass up. Pass up trying to get to Sepian. Bumped off the ball. Wilmington collects. Ramadas. Back to Waters. Back to Osepian. Over Sarah Yu. Okay, Sarah Yu's looking for a little <coughs> help. Looking for help. She's Can got help behind if she sees it. Yeah, Daniel Air behind her. Brings it back to Waters in the middle. A little bit of transition, a little bit of change in the center of attack. And okay, given okay, what we Taylor. want to see Belmont doing is yep. building pressure in the middle, getting numbers up. Uh, you know, there've been a, a early in the season it would be kicked up to the, fr the, the, the up to the front and then a quick turnover and be back in the ball, but they're right. able to get gain numbers up in the middle. And now hopefully they can put some pressure on. Punted up by the Wilmington goalie. Nice just over punt. midfield. Quick flick back to Cable. Well played by Cable. Taylor, Waters, back to Taylor. Over to Santos in the wing. Just again, changing the point of attack again. Tries to cut to the middle. Intercepted by Wilmington. Ah, all right. Well, Ashley Waters, nice little stick, but taken back over from Wilmington. All right, again, Waters in there again, active. Ashley Waters, another player, uh, first year up on varsity and has established herself as a presence, really developed and grown as a player throughout the season. Nice to see. Okay, smart play there. Let's see if they maintain some possession. Dana Lara keeps it going. Again, Waters very active, switching again to Taylor, to Taylor, Taylor on the left. That space, she take it up. Space. One, two, okay, flat five at the back <clears throat> from Wilmington, putting big numbers back there. This looks like the uh, the attacking midfielders are, are, are filling in that line, having a flat line. So you, you basically saw eight players at the top of that penalty area there. Yeah. You'd almost like to see somebody kind of step off that, come face the ball a little bit more, just create some space, maybe bring a defender with them, and hopefully create some space for others. All right, so last time, uh, last goal kick went out to the 45. So it's nice to see a few players kind of line up, waiting for the ball to approximately line there if they don't play it short. But I don't think they will. <coughs> Wilmington Gully look at the punt. Taking her time. Okay, plays it out wide. Probably a quick back into the inside there. A little, little risky there, play by Wilmington. Intercepted there by, by Kimberly. Take my Ramadas, back to Waters. <coughs> And plays a wide to, to Taylor. Taylor again taking space. There you Over go. Over to Santos. Santos cuts to the middle into Waters. Waters plays it wide. Intercepted by Wilmington. Cable. Brought down by Cabral. Taylor steps in. <laughs> Quick turnover. And up. And so we, uh, there's some speed there for that Wilmington yeah, player. Cable did a nice job using the body on her. And you know, Glavin, nice layers of defense there. Glavin kind of taking the middle. Crowd enjoyed that play. Yes, they did. did you see that play? Throw in <coughs> by Wilmington and take a nod by Ramadas to Taylor. So it looks like everything from Wilmington is going to be north south. Absolutely. Uh, on their defense, they seem to be really just attacking the player and the ball. So a quick pass uh, should leave a lot of players. I mean, if, if you ask me, you get that speed of number five, everything, everything's a counter attack with them. Yep. You know, they don't have the numbers up top to pull a plane any other way. But again, Belmont speed here. There's a nice little push to the corner. So are you pressuring, forcing a bad pass? And Elsa Kimberly, turn over quick. Back to Taylor. <coughs> Taylor looking for a little bit of help. Into Waters. Waters, nice little first touch to open space. To Santos, another nice touch in open space. Quick um, turn whack. They do have a lot of numbers back. Yeah, they do. They're stuffing. They're looking for that counterattack. Look at number five for, uh, for Wilmington. She continues to pinch up. They get she can get a mismatch up there. Okay, ball's playing wide. Lily, Lily Hosepian tries to win it. And is that a corner? Uh, looks like a... Uh, I'm going to give the goal kick. No, uh, I don't think the ref was in a position to call that. 
100 percent not. Yeah, and, and it's funny. I'm looking at the other side of the field. Our, our folks, we have two refs. As you, one's playing one side of the field, one's playing the other. And the ball went out in the furthest area away from the ref on the one side. There's no way he can make that call from where he was, so he's calling a goal kick. Yeah. Anyway, nice effort on the Belmont girls. Let's see if they can convert on this. Now they've kind of seen a little bit of how Wilmington is going to play these kicks. You know, I would say Wilmington doesn't seem like they have a lot of players with a great first touch, so I think there's going to be some opportunities off of. <clears throat> okay, short kick coming out. Quick transition pass from Wilmington. Intercepted by Glavin. Okay, back to Wilmington. And, all right, intercepted by Kimberly. To Waters. Waters tries to get up to Ofsepian, who does a nice job stepping in. But turned back over to Wilmington, who's got a pass out of the back. Okay, okay, here comes the launch. Yeah, there goes. The look, they're looking for that long ball. Taylor saves it. Again, once again, looking for the long ball. That lone striker. And brings it back. And there's, and there's the, the give and go. Yeah, there's yeah. quick give and go. Trying to, find a, trying to find a seam there between the Belmont defense. Couldn't find it. Waters clears to Santos. Santos to the middle. She's got time. Chris. To you. Okay, just keep looking for a little bit of help. And there's, there's Dana, Dana Lair right behind her. She's got some time. Got some space. She needs... Quick pass there, right? All right, there. I'll also keep the wide. Sarah, you with a break. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. awful close, awful close. It was a I, difficult. Yeah. It's a nicely developed uh, play. I, I thought that pass was launched uh, well in advance, but the ref was right there on the line. Uh, called that. Outstanding pass by Elsa Kimberly there. Yeah. One quick touch. Exactly and, what the coach wanted to see. And that's exactly the communication we're talking about. Right. Uh, Sarah, you knew, went, when to go. Also saw it. Yep. Cable. Just pass Cable it back. To the goalie. To Donahue. Quick. There you go. Right. You want to be Dana quick Lair. on those passes out of the back. Sorry, you. There's a nice one, two, three pass, and you're at midfield. Right there, the Ramadas. Ramadas turns. Nice and control by Belmont. Dana Lair. Looking for, looking for a pass. Tries to force it through. Ramadas And Ramadas comes through. out with it. A little slip. Osepian tries a quick turn. Looking for a one, two. Sarayu's pressuring that back. Okay, she's surrounded by four players. Some of these up there, she's got some help from Dana Lair. So hopefully they can keep it here for a bit. So maintain possession. Quick little flip from Hovsepian. Little miscommunication from Wilmington. Having a hard time. Hard time with that in the back. Ramadas with the block. You puts, it, puts it on net. Right to the goalie. You know what, why not? Why not from this distance, you know? Seems like Wilmington doesn't want their defense getting too far wide. No, nope. uh, they're staying 10 yards in on the sidelines, and they're willing to concede a little bit on the on the outer wings. Again, yeah, definitely stuffing the middle. Five. But she, but if you can yeah. see like the, the the really lack of communication in the middle as a result of it all. Yeah, you know, so many bodies, nobody knows who has the ball. Right. You know, contrast that with Belmont, who leaves their two center backs to, to defend, and their two outside defenders are going up and joining the attack. So it's a very different mindset if you, as you watch things transition. Right here, here's, here's your attacking defender, Taylor. Basically, she's past midfield, and you have two lone defenders back. <coughs> so you're basically trusting your defense, and you're also trusting your, your outside defenders to make those attacking runs. Yeah. Ball cleared into the Wilmington keeper. Taking a sweet time kicking this out. All right, no, another 45. Out to, out to close to midfield. Okay. Ah, maintained like by Wilmington. Like to see him jump on that. Agreed. That's a, there's a little turnover here. Caused by Ashley Waters pushed up into the offensive zone. Here comes here comes Dana Lair from from the back attacking, yes. trying to play it through. Okay, taken by Ramadas. Out to you. This is a perfect time for a cross right here. Let's see if she can get it off. Good defending, good defending, and there's, there's the corner, corner kick, kick we're looking for. And they get the corner. All right. <clears throat> this is where that lack of communication with Wilmington in the middle, a lot of confusion here. Hopefully yeah. that little confusion they were having kind of finds its way into something like this on a corner kick. They've got everybody back. I'll tell you, if I was Wilmington, I would keep five high. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Uh, there's no way I would be putting her back on defense on this. Uh, yeah. Played short. Santos up. Glavin with a shot. shot. Oh, oh. Not nice shot. Nice little fake there by Belmont. 
Yeah. I, I tricked they've pulled out many a time. <laughs> Again, how do they not see that one coming if they've actually watched one minute of Belmont film? But there you go. It there seems you go. to work. You get a shot on net. And it's exciting for the crowd to see it. Not the, you know, a solid shot on net. I'll take yeah, it. We'll but take I would have liked to have seen a little, uh, little more power on that. Low one on frame. That's what every coach wants to exactly. say. Exactly. Okay, Cabral, wide to Lair. Oh, she's got lots of time. Yeah, look at that so that she can play it back. Just swing it wide. There All right, you go. so into Waters. Waters, nice turn. She's got space. Take it. No, no, okay, nice back play. again to Taylor. Taylor's getting all kinds of time out there, and then she's attacking. A little through ball right now to Santos. Here we go. <coughs> Hopefully, she can keep it in and got a little That's too fine. far I have out a of problem her. with uh, a, a fullback driving up on that if you're given space. I don't love the rolling it over the end line, but yeah. Uh, I, as I long as somebody cycles back on D and is able to cover off on that, that's fine. Uh, if, if, as you can see on that note, you can see how Taylor's moved up a bit. Yeah. Right there, you've got Glavin moving to the left to take her slot. Cable moves to the middle, and Lair moves to, to the other middle, so the other side of the middle. So you've still got three <coughs> backs watching things and covering the field appropriately. No sense guarding a field that no one's in, right? Exactly. I think the only thing I think on Taylor's run there, I think if, if, if you ask the coach what he'd like to see, by see her pass, would like to see her pass quicker. Pass quicker, maybe yeah, because you get to the middle a little bit, or yeah, just, I think just pass it, pass it through quicker. I think because you know Santos was holding the line there, yeah, and you're flat foot at that point in time. I think he'd like to see her, her pass that ball while while Santos was in stride. Good ball downfield, Ramadas, back to Waters. Waters seen a lot of the ball. Out wide to Santos. Santos comes back, cuts it to middle. There's a little Sarah slam U ball to Sarah U. Well, it's gonna it looks like it's going to get through, but a deep throw in for Belmont. <coughs> and I think they want to get in here quickly and pressure and try to keep this ball down here. Yep. Same here. Like, so Dana Lair steps up into the attacking zone and, and the defense shifts accordingly. Ball comes up over the top. Glavin, back Glavin back wide. Receive. Taylor. Passed. All right, to Waters. Taylor's making the run. Waters back to Taylor. Up to Santos. Santos with first touch. Backwards up. A little bit of a fall from the Wilmington defender. Ball gets slips through to Santos. Cuts wide. All right, we got numbers in the middle. She's surrounded by three players. Yep. She continues it. Getting some great support from the boys right. on the other side of the field. Ball's played out of bounds. All right, throw by Wilmington. Belmont. Throwing Belmont deep. All right, got Dana Lair cheating in a little bit. I love that. Quick throw. You currently have like 10, you have like 20 players in the corner right now. Yeah. <laughs> they really, <laughs> it's like the whole field is wide open except for a couple here in the top. Yeah. Talk about crunching things up, not giving Belmont any space. Okay. Goal kick out from, from Wilmington side. All right, they're playing, playing it short. short. Set being on the ball. Interesting, interesting decision there to play it straight out. About that one, two, trying to clear. To Glavin, Glavin with a little, little pressure decides to have to switch attack sides to Lair. Trying to play mm. a through ball between defenders. Numbers were there. Hard to get that ball through with the numbers there. Also Kimberly defending. Waters intercepting. Back to a Wilmington player. Tries to clear. Falls to Santos. Santos back to Waters. Again, Waters has been all over the place. She's done a great job tonight. She has. She's been working hard. Yeah, Waters defending. <coughs> Ball's through, and you can see the speed here. Okay, but it's a nice job. Uh, Again, the value of having two great center backs right there. One, yeah, yeah, the, one taking ball, one taking space. Uh, the, uh, you really got to be careful with her there on though. At five, uh, she was she's close fast. to a breakaway. She's got she's, uh, she's got thoroughbred speed, and you know, maybe even play a little bit deeper with her, given that we understand exactly what their strategy is going to be. It's just going to be trying to chip it over the top for her to uh, for her to attack on. Uh, okay, Waters tries to clear. She does. Finds it way to a Wilmington player. In the middle, turns. Another quick, quick step. Cleared by Taylor right back to Wilmington at midfield. One, two, pass. Okay, little, Wilmington see a little more of the ball here. A little disarray from Belmont. And cleared away from Glavin, by Glavin. Okay. All right, Osepian's pressuring. Let's see what she can do here. Pressuring seems she to win the, the ball. ball. 
Wins the ball. Their help. There it is. Ramadas. Let's see what you can see. All right. Back off to Santos. Santos cuts in, makes a nice one two play. And there's a Puts rip. the ball on net and goes slightly wide. Slightly wide. And yeah, two players up front, though. I like that. Looking for a potential rebound or maybe even being a passing opportunity. She elected to shoot. But uh, I'll take that. Sure. I think. I think the speed of that transition was really uh, was, was great to watch. I mean, yeah. that quick one-two passes, just to say, okay, we've we've got them on their back feet, on, on their back heels, I should say, at this point in time. Osepian did a nice job winning that ball, and then you can see that play develop, one-two-three passing. Glavin clears, falls to a Wilmington player, pressured by Waters. Lair being pushed, forced into the middle, a little bit of a bump. Waters on defense. Waters playing He's going to make a run up the side. Trying to force it to number five <coughs> again. Again, being cleared by Hannah Glavin. Santos steps in. Nice first touch into space. Continues to move. A little bit behind Sarah you, well, that's, Which is okay because, quite frankly, if it went ahead of her, she was yeah. losing the ball. Yep. So, But it's still gets Wilmington's doing a good job there. Nice little stick by, by Elsa Kimberly. Got a quick turnover again. Uh, all right, Wilmington bench has seen a little life. Cable to Ramadas. A lot of people in the middle of the field. Look, it's all condensed. From 35-yard line to 35-yard line, both <coughs> teams are just crunched in here. Yeah. I mean, this is all just uh, forced chip and chase. Yeah, at this point in time. Played wide by Glavin. And she seems to keep it in. No. Yeah, she, yeah, does. she does. She does. The Santos. Santos to Waters. Ball this tips out wide by Wilmington, throw in for Belmont at midfield. You know, the speed's going to wear him down, uh, but honestly, the number five speed can wear down people as well. So 100%. It's important to always be on the attack, keep them running. There's the punt. Dana Lair on it. She's got some time. It's funny, five is not even going to try to defend that. She's going to try to keep a hold of her spot and just be ready if something comes up and over. Also, Kimberly. David puts There's it up and top. over. There's a little Looks far. Looks like goalie's up to the task there at the top of the six-yard box. Okay, Lucy, Lucy Hines is warming up for Belmont right now. Okay, punt to midfield. It's a clutching and grabbing out there. Played out wide. Wilmington ball. Nice turn of the body the punt. to a defender who, a little bit of a misfire, but falls right to a Wilmington player. Quick one, two. Forcing it Sadie to Taylor. Taylor side. closing on speed, though, on that. Yeah, forcing her wide. That's it. You do that all day long. That's it. Okay, forced to turn over again. Santos. I would say, well, let's do the she quick, let's do the quick, wide. easy pass. There and that's up, up to the top for Hosepi, and who comes off, bumps up with the goalie. Oh. A little collision with the goalie. Can Hosepi keep it? She does. She oh, works hard. And she scores! Oh, there it is! <laughs> An A for effort on that one. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness, there you go. Great job by Lilio Sepian. That was an all effort. 1v3, yeah, including uh, the goalie. 1v3 with three three different collisions. Exactly. <laughs> and, uh, but and, and she seemed to get the better of all three of them, which is quite remarkable. Not one of those people brought her down. So no, that's it's just, just effort. That's all effort. That's, uh, you like know. A quick transition. Quick play goalie. I mean, I've made a little bit of an error, I think, in coming out that far and not getting the ball, coming away with it. But yeah. it's a tough, tough position to be in as a goalie. 100% agree. So one nothing Belmont. Like 20 minutes, almost 20 minutes into the game. Okay. You know, either the goalie, I've said this before, if you come off the line like that, you got to be sure, right? Yeah. And, and you got to be committed to it. So she, she made the commitment. She came all the way out. She came out a long way, knowing pure well she couldn't use her hands. Yep. So if you're going to do that, um, you got to win that ball. Yeah. Okay, Lucy Hines in for Elsa Kimberly. I mean, I think anytime you get the, the goalie out like that, the defense goes into panic mode quite often. Oh, absolutely. Just uh, and can lead to some bad outcomes. Okay, Cable through the middle, looking again for that little long ball opportunity. Nice little release on Wilmington, though. Break that pressure. Yeah. So hopefully this will loosen things up in the back for Belmont. I mean, I guess they could continue to play this way at the up and over and try to get number five some opportunities, but... You down one nothing early in the game right now. You eventually have to say, okay, we can't continue to have five people defending in the back line. Yeah. You know, it's a nice little play right there that doesn't go noticed. Glavin went out wide to get the ball, and Taylor cut back into the middle position to cover that space in case the ball turned over. Sure. 
And ball's found its way downfield quite a bit for a Wilmington throw. 100%. Again, they're all kind of looking out for one another. Yep. Filling in the spaces as need be. There's a lot of smart players in this team. There are. There are. Which is amazing if you've met their parents. 100%. Especially these two commentators. <laughs> all right. Ball played up by Wilmington. All right. Played by Glavin. Trying to settle this ball here from Wilmington. Trying to so Glavin's going to do a good job on meeting number five as she has the ball and trying to take the body a little bit, not letting her turn. And that'll leave a lot of opportunities, I think, for Cable to be back behind for a little slip-through pass or something to, right. to clean it up. Right. 100%. Okay, Wilmington trying to play it down. Looks it's like off. that might have off, been off of Taylor's head. Right. It is the a... Ref is agreeing with you? Yeah, 100% looks like. So it's a Wilmington throw. Well, I don't know, the 30 yard line, I guess, looks like. <coughs> Thank God for football fields. <laughs> and now we know where they are. Back towards midfield in the throw. Santos blocks it, falls right to Wilmington defender. Quick one two past Lucy Hines. Goes back to Glavin. Glavin, you know, you know, looking around to see who's there, who's not there for that matter. Let's the ball play out of bounds. It's easy reset, Wilmington retreating. You play it short, or you? Oh, there you oh, go. They've already have. It short. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even allow me to answer. All right, yeah. so. Lair to you. You to Ramadas. Ramadas first touch into space. To Waters. There's wide again. Waters wide again to Taylor. Taylor just has. Yeah, she's continuing to move with the ball. Santos looks like Santos gets the one-two here Santos around the defender. The speed. Brings a feet, again, bring to, brings the speed and the attention. Two players on her. Yep. Okay, try to clear it out. Falls right to Ramadas. All right, quick and easy pass. Ramadas plays it back to the middle. Looks like that should be Dana Lair's ball. It is. A little miscommunication there at first. Lair attacking. Again, Wilmington willing to concede the midfield. Yep. And fall Hines. back into a full defensive front. Okay, well, back to Dana. To Lucy Hines. Lucy Hines calling, moving into space to receive a pass. Nice, nice up and over from Amanas to Saryu. Oh, a not little outside. Bit of, a little bit of contact there, but well within the realm of fair play. Yep. And up over the end line and will be a, a goal kick. Goal kick. A Wilmington goal kick. Okay. Ball Coach played in Jimmy. by Coach Jemmy, helping out. <laughs> I don't think there's a ball person on this side of the field. <laughs> I thought Coach Jemmy did a nice job there serving that ball in. I think he did a great job. I think he's yeah. kicked the ball before. Yeah, might have. All right, Wilmington, sir, will they come long? Will they go short? I'm going to bet long. Nobody at the 45. Oh. It's That's coming same. short. Beam. Again. Sorry, you on them quickly. They're not turning anything outside on that. Oh, oh. Tough little ball. <laughs> Taylor ends up winning it after all. <laughs> Taylor, I love her physicality as she brings to the game. Just stands her ground, waits for the player. Quick one-two from Wilmington. Try to get to five. Oh, quick little oh. turnover to five here. And okay, all right, that's that's like sprinter speed here. Yep. But nice job shoulder to shoulder. And it looks like they, what is the call here? It's hard to tell. It looks like it's a Wilmington corner. No signal from the referee either way. Yeah, it looks like the players called that. I'm yeah, sure I think so. I'm going to see the ref call that one. Yep. All right. All right. So hopefully these set plays get cleared out pretty quickly here. Nice. No, nice corner. Up, up and in. over. Oh, I oh. thought that was in. A that little, was a beautiful uh, corner. A little miscalculation. Yep. And there's the high but shot. And there's the high shot. We'll take that all day long. A little miscalculation <laughs> coming off the line. Um kind of ran to it as opposed to take the two steps back, then kind of know where the ball is. But you know what? All's well that ends well. Yep. Play it out short to Cable. Oh, it's so high to Lair. To you. Hines, four players around her, still comes out with it. That's a nice play. Lair. Up and over to Hosepian. Let's see if anyone's learned their lesson. There, there, oh, Hosepian, Hosepian again. With another break! Oh! oh. oh. Oh, and play it a out. nice shield on the Wilmington defense, but a dangerous play for Belmont. Almost another goal in there. So it looks like Belmont's going to make some subs. Looks like Nora Goulding's going in, and Mira Gardner is making her varsity debut. 
Congratulations, Mira. Thank you, Jack. Congratulations, Mira. Good to see you here. All right. <clears throat> Back to Sarah Yu. Sarah Yu. Switch Lair. with uh, Dana Lair. Being pursued by Lucy Hines. Nice job, stays with it. Okay, Wilmington may able to play it back and maintain possession. Back to Wilmington. Here comes the punt. Up to five. And taken by five from Glavin. Glavin, <coughs> Hines. Hines, two, three players around her. Yep. Okay, Again, now, they're just clogging the middle. Now they're starting to clog the middle a lot more and giving it to the outside. So yep. I think... <coughs> You got to be seeing that that they're they're trying to compress, compress, compress Belmont. I mean, it's trying to slow them down. Don't give them a lot of space. Clavin cleans that up. Again, everything's going through five. Uh, just Donahue off the line makes the save. Dangerous play there. Yeah, dangerous I, I, play. You'd like to? I'm not sure how to play that one. Uh, no, nah, goal. You go to ground. You go yeah. to ground. Use your body. Yeah, you know, and. Then, so that's, that's probably the most effective way to play that ball. Be a, be a, you become much larger than you know someone's yeah. legs, so to speak. You know, you kind of come and come Easy in and you, you envelop the ball and you slide Ooh, with it. A little bit of incidental contact, but the ref thought it was a little bit too much. Gives a free kick to Wilmington. Okay, that's, Wilmington forward line is looking for a quick quick kick, but not happening. Played downfield. Quick flick from the defender. I'm sorry, excuse me, from the uh, Wilmington forward. Lucy Hines defending. Back towards the midfield. Intercepted by Ramadas. Uses her body <coughs> to kind of shield the ball, but loses it, but then gets it back. And then quick turnover again. Deflects off Hines. Wilmington tries to play through the middle. Quick one, two. Ramadas nice play by Ramadas. Again, a little back check in there. Yep. Ashley Waters. Okay. Looking for a little help. Okay, Glavin back. Quick turnover. On this. Quick Needs pass to use to her the goalie. goalie. There you go. She's, she's got to be careful. And there it is, over to Lair. So, what we see there is uh, five is fast enough. She's going to challenge anything back to the goalie. All 100%. passes back to the goalie have to be crisp or out. I think the pass back to the goalie needs to be away from the net, <laughs> first and foremost. So, if you're going to pass it back to the goalie, make sure the goalie's not standing <laughs> in the net. Make sure you put it wide of the post. Case it does go by or whatever, so it gives the goalie an opportunity to, to actually kick it out of bounds if they need to. Yeah. Played by Donahue. Go for a big punt here. About 13 left in the first. It's been a quick first half. <coughs> really only been, I think, uh, one penalty. That's it. And then here's a throw in. Throw in no. Wilmington. I'm still not letting Belmont sub. Been trying to sub for about five minutes now. Yeah. One, two. Play back to Wilmington and played out of bounds, bounds, and here comes the subs. So, right, now we're golding in for Sarah Yu. Quick and, burst to and, speed with golding coming in. That's not going to be fun for uh, Wilmington. So, and Mira Garner goes in for Ashley Waters, who's had a great game. Yeah, really has. Back to play here. It's Glavin. Taylor. Taylor going wide. So you can see as Taylor's going wide, see where Santos is, how she's just kind of standing there, kind of waiting for the yep. pass, and she's kind of flat-footed. You know, so I think that's where you, <coughs> you need to make sure you release her early. Play by Lair. All right, he's going to... A little dance in the head by the Wilmington forward. Plays yeah. it a while to Gabriel. Pass to no one, but five's coming for it. Yep, she's pressuring big to Dana Lair. One, two. Into Ramadas. Ramadas. Her head up. Golding for the ball, look, looking. Plays it through. Nice ball for Lily, Lily of Sepian. Uh, uh, little got a little, little, little way to her. Yeah. <clears throat> got a little way for her. I think um, a little, if it was a little bit slower, she might have yep. had a chance at that thing. But yep. no, it's a good idea. Played by Ramadas. Kicks back in. Header by Wilmington. Mira Gardner back to the defender, to Taylor. You're seeing Taylor. really Lena or uh, Dana Lair and, and Sadie Taylor have just have all the time in the world with the ball. I don't 100%. think they've ever had this yep. much time. Yep. Santos with the run. Quick Where's turnover. Quick clear. Big turnover. That's actually got it out close to midfield. Give the defense a little bit of a breather. All right. I'd like to see him switch fields here. There you go. Yeah, exactly. To Ramadas. Ramadas heads down to Lair. Golden coming wide. 
Back into Ramadas in the middle. Easy pass. To Gardner. No, it actually called off to Taylor. Taylor goes up and over. Right to the goal. Looks like oh, the goalie's hesitating here. And Dom Oof. Osepian is was reading that in, that hesitation. Yeah, she's hearing footsteps back there. She's yep. not sure uh, where to go. A lot of these balls coming in. All right, Coach Jemmy talking to Golding. A tough handball. Ball bounced up into her. But, you know, you got to take that either on the ground or in the air. It looks like Coach Jimmy gave Norris some instructions that she in turn gave to Josepian, and here comes the change. Looks like Josepian is, is switching up with Santos, putting Santos up at top and Josepian on the outside. That's where the space is. Yep, so balls up and over in the free kick. Played by Cabral. Cabral, I should say. To Lair. Lair. Uh, nice, Hines to nice Goulding. Reception by Try to keep it in. Try to keep it in, and it's played off by Wilmington. Nice play by Wilmington just to break that pressure, get themselves some breathing room. Here comes the punt. Okay, all through to Donahue. She's playing at the Quick top of her area to now. Dana. Yeah, she's playing the top of her area now. She's coming out. Lair. Okay, Golding needs to retreat. Quick turnover. I think that pass to Golden still needs to be a little bit quicker because they were they were coming on to her the minute she touched yeah. that ball. Well, she got caught flat-footed a little bit, right? Yeah, she was 100%. open, and then she, then she wasn't, wasn't, and she stopped, and she, she right. kind of retreated back. And Quick little stick stick from Lucy. Lucy Hines working Hines. hard, though. Yep. Back to Golding. She's got time. Lair tries to clear it. There you go. Played up by Ramadas to Santos. Plays it wide to Goulding. She's trying to collect it. Defended well by Wilmington. Off Wilmington, it looks see like. Who that call will go again. Uh, I'm going to give it to Wilmington. Tough tough call for the ref to make from that position. Okay. I'm not sure I agreed with it 100%. Let's, but. let's pressure this, Belmont. Let's pressure this. You know, the, the, the punt strategy kind of lulls you to sleep a little bit. You're just waiting for them to punt it, and you stop attacking. Yep. Uh, but I think... Again, Bel Bel Belmont needs to be a little bit, little bit quicker here to, to, uh, to pressure. Yeah. This is where we can use our... There All you right. go, and there's the turnover. Yep, we need the pressure. Gardner plays it wide. Right, it's you know, rare, can't keep it in. When you yeah. pressure somebody, rarely do you get that immediate turnover. What you do is you force them to make an obvious pass, and the next defender is able to step in front of it and get the turnover. Right, I mean, it's from watching this game from the very beginning, you could see every single time when we didn't have the ball, yep. they want to get rid of it right away. No one really was that comfortable on the ball. So it's different sorts of stress for different players, right? Some people, players really enjoy having the ball. Some just, yeah, don't give, give me if you have to type of players. And I think there's a lot of that in the Wilmington defense right now. And if Belmont just lets them have time and lets them get comfortable, it's not going to be to the benefit for sure. Thrown by Wilmington. <coughs> Another throw for Wilmington. Gardner defending. All right, Quick, they don't keep her on. Okay. Coach Jemmy talking to the defense, making sure they don't keep uh, play a high Delaire, line. So, Lair, so here's Lair. Now, there's Golding's looking to make the run, and she does. And the, and the ball was played right to a defender, unfortunately. Looks like Wilmington's collapsing on the run. Looks like they were actually anticipating the run, so they started playing for it as opposed to going to the ball. Yep. And so they all dropped back to defend, and yeah, there's no way that pass was getting through to Golding. Uh, look at this, number five causes some problems here and cleared up by Cable. <clears throat> a lot of effort there. Well, no, it didn't go out of bounds, stayed in. Okay. It's going to be a okay. battle okay. between uh, the center defenders of Belmont and number five. Uh, the number five and number game. five back there. Okay, there's an offsides call on five. She came from an off offsides position to try to defend that ball. And so that's, that's where the offsides call comes from. The Free vaulted kick. over and back. Yep. Cable downfield. Sepia, nice, nice touch. Into Ram Ramadas. Ramadas back to Taylor. Again, would like to see a quicker pass here. There it is. Okay. Mm. Intercepted by Wilmington. A little telegraphed on that. Yeah. 
No, you know where it's coming. It's, you, Always. You, okay, quick little turn over here from a cable. Actually, re, you know, basically recovers again. Number five, just a lot of work to be. Someone's going to watch 23 in the middle. Looks like Ramdas did a nice job collecting back. So you can see that. Uh, you can see how they've kept it close to a few of their opponents, that's yep. for sure. It's uh, one player with tenacious effort. Yep, much which we've seen in our end here. We got a goal as a result of that in our end, too. Yep. It's like some shouts for a handball. Played through. Ooh, a little bit of contact there. Okay. okay. Lucy Hines that runs one. through it, though. Nice play. Nice Throw in play. for Belmont. Okay, five minutes left in the game. Looks like a sub. Looks like Ramadas is taking a break. Water's back on. Oh, I'm not surprised by that. She played great in the first half. Absolutely. First quarter. Not sure one thing, big difference between this game and last game, she's quicker to pass. Yep. Okay, ball played out wide to Waters. Oh, I shouldn't say wide, wide through the middle, I should say. Hines back checking. Does a nice job collecting to Lair, to Goulding. Now Goulding's going to be quicker here with this ball. Again, if you're going to be... Plays it, try to, tries to play up to Santos. Santos collects it. And good effort by Anna. Played out of bounds. <clears throat> All right, a little bit of... A little fortunate the result on the Goulding side there. I think would have liked to have seen her is to play that ball in the middle. She had a nice simple pass through the middle yep. to, to Waters. Right immediately, right at the beginning. Right at Waters, a quick, so quick one-two, and then they could have been able to maybe yep. have a better point of attack because everything is compressed on the side of the field right now. Ball gets through to Wilmington. Wilmington plays it back towards the goalie. I'd be pressuring this goalie, guys. Yeah. You know, looks like the Lettner bleed the clock down a little bit. Santos now decides to pressure a little bit. Not a great pass. There you go, Belmont just attacking at the point of entry. Wilmington maintains some possession here. Quick one twos, and up and over to number five. All right, some good, some good physical shoulder to shoulder contact there. Lair plays it downfield, right to defender. Okay, Wilmington trying to switch the point of attack. Brings it back to the middle, calms things down a little bit. Santos pressuring, you know, again. Yeah, those passes are not are not great coming out of the back. So no, there's slow. room there to, yeah. if they could attack in unison. Uh, I like this, this, again, seeing some pressure on this back line. There you go. There's Coach Jemmy imploring them to move the ball quickly. Don't just punt it up the field, keep it moving, quick passes. Clear by Wilmington and out of bounds. Thrown for Belmont. <coughs> All right, Wilmington looks like they're willing to uh, just hang back on this. Quick one, two, intercepted. Gardner plays it wide. Cable to Santos. Maintains control. Looking for Goulding to make the run. And, and there's there the run is. for Goulding. She's off. Can she reel it in? She does. She looks like she's she going to get to it. She doesn't have a lot of help, though. She's going to have to hold it up for a sec. She does hold it up. She's looking nice at Nice little up. cross to Santos. Oh, oh. Well, I would love to have seen a one-timer there. That but was such a gorgeous pass. Yeah. That would have was liked to have seen a one-timer. gorgeous cross. <laughs> yeah. Golding with the left. Collects it, maintains it, maintains composure, makes a nice left-footed yeah. pass to the top of the area. Would love to have seen a one-timer there. And I, and I know Anna can do it. Yeah, Quick throw into Golding. A little bit of bumping. Best part of that play was Goulding holding up, letting mm -hmm. letting people come up and get open. Nobody there. Well, well, the whole idea is when you're playing this way is that you, when you bring it down the wing, you, you're looking to make that pass at the either at the at the penalty spot or at the top of the 18, because yeah. you're assuming the defenders are closer to the goal. You want to try to keep it away from the goalie. Goulding maintains there. You can look, look, quick one, two back to, to Lair. You got the center. Lair, okay, Goulding quickly turns, turned over quickly. Nice, de nice defending. She's gonna run through that, guys. Yep. There's Ashley Waters, nice safe pass. Yeah, a little too a lot. Miragana with a nice play there. Extra touches for uh, Santos. Santos looking. Ooh, uh, a little bit of a. A little bumping. It's getting a little yeah. more, a little more physical now. Players get tired. It's not getting more physical. Cable plays wide to Lair. Lair to Waters. 
Waters to Santos. Santos with this turn, turn, using the body. Turn. Look at Lucy Hines in the middle. Oh, ah. try to thread the needle there to Lucy Hines. Nice opportunity there. It was a beautiful turn on that. And you can see their defense is uh, stabbing at the ball, stepping towards it. So yep. a quick turn will will free up quickly. Okay, another punt. 45 yards. Lay our heads at a board. Header. Wilmington to Glavin. <laughs> Crowd seemed to like that head play from, from Glavin. Oh, little, little oh, handball. Oh, wow. That's a, a little handball uh, right little, there. Oh, was it a handball? Yeah, her arm was up. Her arm was up. All right, I'm fine okay, with so looks a really high line here. All right, so again, look at Donnie. Look how far she's playing off the line. Okay, they try to play it quick and they try to play it wide. And no, nothing came of it. Now you got to get everybody up. Yep. Got to get everybody off that line. Okay, we're in that two minute time period where the ref's on the clock. And there's the halftime whistle. All right, at the end of the first half, it's Belmont 1, Wilmington 0. I'd say the pace of play has been carried predominantly by Belmont. Uh, but, mm -hmm. you know, Wilmington's had a couple of uh, good opportunities, a couple of uh, near goals just by. Punting and chasing with their one uh, number five. Yep, it looks like they're playing the counterattack game with a single counterattacking player that actually seems to be quite capable of, of challenging probably the best defenses in the league. So, so. by great effort from Lily Hovsepian to, to score that goal. Like I said, gone through three players there and and uh, puts, puts Belmont on the board. All right, welcome back to the second half of Belmont Girls Varsity Soccer versus Wilmington. The score is Belmont one, Wilmington zero. <laughs> Getting some harassment from the crowd early in the second half here. Uh, harassment is starting early. We Don't welcome all it. harassment and all taunting. Yeah, exactly. We welcome Belmont, it. a little bit late coming out of their uh, circle. I'm hoping uh, Coach Jemmy is giving them some, some good guidance. What do you think the uh, guidance would be from Coach Jemmy for the second half? <laughs> I think to keep the pressure and keep the speed going. Uh, I think towards the end of the second half, they were taking the foot off the gas a little bit on the pressure on the back line. Yep. I think if you're pressuring that back line, a lot of good things can happen. Looks like they're coming out with the starting lineup. No changes are made at halftime. <coughs> and on, on number five, continue to play her the same way. You ever think about maybe putting a shadow her a little bit to a greater extent? Uh, you know what? It's funny. It, it, she's kind of she's kind of standing where you're already standing anyway. She's yeah. staying with the defenders. She's not yeah. like she's uh, she's not going to isolate herself off to a corner. Nor she seem to be coming into midfield to receive a pass to hold it. You know, so she's not really active in the build-up. <laughs> she's only active in the final third of the field. She's, they're willing so, to take the 70-30 yeah, chance that right. there's Just a keep her in front of you. ball That's in all and she it. can and flick it on and chase it down. So one, so it's basically yep. a layered defense approach. One, one, yep. you, you, one will keep her in front. And that ball goes by. The other one's there to clean it up. Kind of like a stopper sweeper type of scenario. All right. Constantly covering for one another. All right, Belmont about to take the kickoff. Back to Rambidus. Blair active right away into, into Kimberly. Kimberly turned over quickly to Wilmington. Wilmington to the middle. Interesting, seems like a run from the back, which we have not seen from Wilmington to date. <laughs> That's a time, I should say. Here's number five right now. Again, Lair's defense right there, cleared away by Taylor. All right, you know, I'm... I'm, I'm Somewhat happy to see that they're not just uh, punting it. I think we'd be we're better off if they're trying to take it up from the back. Mm -hmm. uh, but I got to be honest, that was a successful little play. Yep. And taking it across the field and, and getting it upfield for a throw in in the Belmont half of the field. Quick throw in. Quick throw in. Nice run onto the ball by Wilmington. And there's the center. Go, go. Oh. oh. Bad bounce. Bad bounce. A little miscommunication between the goaltending and the uh, might have been terrible there. I think. Someone, someone's going to want to take take ownership of that, you know. That one, yeah, you know, like you get it, no, you get it, type of you'd thing. You'd like to see Emily Donahue call that clearly. Yes, yes, That's mine. Is, yep, yep. Keeper, 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 and jump up and grab that ball out yeah, of the air. Yeah. So, uh, I think there was the defender was expecting that to happen. So I think she pro may have wanted to catch that off the bounce as a little bit of an easier play, but uh, that can be that can be dangerous. Quick clear, uh, quick cross, I should say, cross, and it's out of bounds, and it's a Belmont goal kick. Okay, they're going to play it quick out of the back. Which is, okay, to Glavin. Glavin upfield to Santos. Okay, collects. And the Waters, Waters back to Taylor. Taylor up and over. 
Plays into space. Santos, the pressure to Taylor. Mm. Taylor brings it down. Can't believe the nice little bump there in the middle. Lara wins nice the ball. Step. Waters, nice little one-two touch to Santos. Santos uses her body well to shield. Turns, changes. Okay, Looks for Ramadas to Ramadas yeah. on the outside. Just gives it back to Taylor. Taylor just says, okay, there up and is. over. There it is, there's a nice up and over. Okay, pursued by Josepi, and Josepi wins, wins the, the ball. ball. There's to, to Santos. To Santos. 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 Oh, oh, and there's, how is that not called? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Interesting, the n no call there. That goalie, wow. that referee from the other side was emphatic. Wow. Waving that off. And uh, there's three defenders closing in on Santos right there. She left her feet, so. From behind, no from attempt behind. at the ball. That's from behind. Uh, so anyway. Off we go. Off so. we go. So Wilmington with the ball, that turns it over right now to you. you know. Okay, it looks Daniel like Wilmington's Lair. getting a little bit of confidance here with, with on the ball, a little bit of dribbling. Played Daniel by Lair. Lair. Looks like she didn't have a lot of help, this young lady over there. If she was, you know, running the line, running the line. If you look over there, she had no help. She had not one pass. Ball thrown in quick. There's Giving back, it back quickly. Is it another cross into five. five? Clear it off wide to Waters. <clears throat> Waters plays it out wide. Picked off by Wilmington. Okay, Wilmington getting some time here. Plays it deep in the box. Looks and like it deflects out, out and <coughs> and it's a corner kick. Wow, yeah, that's Belmont deflection. It looked like it from here. Well, Wilmington's come out with a little uh, little fire, a little pep. I think a little pep um, and a little speed, and they're playing physical, and it's working. Mm -hmm. So let's see if Belmont can't clear this goal. Okay, it's a second corner kick for Wilmington this game. Last one was a dangerous ball. All right, wasted opportunity by Wilmington there. Yeah, the break what? on five. Wasted opportunity there. For that, for <coughs> Wilmington. Okay. Set play. They had definitely had somebody breaking to the near post. Uh, just a, a miss hit. Uh, short play by Belmont here. Cable. To Lair. Lair to you. Yeah, Belmont uh, throw. Belmont throw. Let's move quick. Get it up. You got the middle of the field wide open. Got Ashley Waters. Nobody around her. Yeah. A little bit of north-south game by both teams right now, it looks like. Wilmington plays it back, intercepted by Josepian. Quick turn, a oh. little bit of a bump, stays with it. And a and little bit of a delayed call from the official, which was actually the right call. Yeah. <coughs> he was, was letting it play. The advantage on that? He was playing the advantage, let it play out to see if she was able to break away. But no, he he stayed with it and made the right call. And it's funny, even the Wilmington team didn't, didn't, didn't chirp about, about it. One. So yeah. they, they knew exactly what was happening there. Uh, that's not where the plow occurred, but. Um, I think the foul occurred probably about 10 yards ahead of that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's right. setting it straight, but yeah. he's setting it out wide now. Okay. And speaking short. out wide, out wide to Lair. Plays it down to Sarah Yu. There's the nice cross. Nice cross. Okay. Played wide by Wilmington. Nobody there, though. Oh. Being pursued by Hosepian. Deflects off Hosepian <coughs> for a Wilmington throw in. You know, it was an opportunity. She had the ball. She was right on her goal line, and nobody, nobody, uh, nobody went after her. Everybody hang, hung back, and it allowed that uh, allowed her to clear it out. Ball to Lair. Lair plays it back to Cable. To Ramadas, quick one, two to, to Ashley Waters. Ashley Waters wide to see Taylor. Taylor plays it wide to Santos, and just kind of turns her around. <coughs> it's okay. Let's keep this ball deep. Throwing Wilmington deep by I down by the 18. A learning opportunity for Sadie in that, you know, she's looking for that only one pass into the corner when she has people that she can get back into the middle of it uh, and chip it over. It's going to get to a point in time when Wilmington's playing, watching this game, says, we all know where the ball's going, folks. Yep. <laughs> so they kept continue to play it wide, play it wide, play it wide. So once in a while, you do have to give it in the middle. Actually, give, to give yourselves opportunity wide, right? So play it off to Allison Kimberly, up one little one quick one-two touch. Played out by Wilmington <clears throat> to Taylor. Taylor's going to let it bounce out of bounds, and there she does. And to Ashley Waters, quickly defended by Wilmington, turned over. She got up her off the ground a little bit. Played wide by Wilmington. Dana, Dana Lair is just going to see that out of bounds, looks like, and she does. All right, okay. Wilmot can take a breath here. Okay, Lair. 
Again, you're yes. going up the side, up and we've got and Ashley then, yeah. Waters sitting wide open in, in the, the middle, middle of the field. Right, so you should at least, if you're from that position, you should at least have two, maybe three passes out, yeah. outlet passes. If we continue to go up the line, they're going to continue to force that. And you know what? I think most coaches would rather defend a team that's keeping their, you know, basically playing the sidelines. Quick turnover in the corner here. Got to be careful. Don't want to give up a free kick. Again, nicely recovered. Gabriel takes Gabriel. her dispossesses Robert her of the ball. To you. And here's a chip up front. Some, ah, Taylor, nice way. Nice to parry that away. Drops to Taylor again, nice and she play. clears it by the with Wilmington it. bench. <clears throat> okay. Wilmington seeing a lot more of the ball, a lot more in the Belmont end. A lot more defending happening from Belmont right now. Quick throw back. Across the middle to number five. That looked like it could have been a handball, but no, it was not called. And a nice clear by Sadie Taylor again. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Throw in Wilmington, goes down the line, played by Taylor. Number five skirts around, quick one-two touch. Oh, good defending. Good defending without fouling, by yeah, the way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that girl had a nice head of steam going right there. One little yep. nick and she would have been right over. Played up field, Kimberly, ooh. Oof. Little big, big bump there, but Ramanas still comes has, out with Sarah, it. Sarah, you still Pleasant. has a nice cross and a centering pass. Oh, oh well defended by... Santos wide open on the outside. Too. Yep. All we need is a nice little one-two pass, and she was through. Ball defended wide. Here's Cable with it. Taylor. Taylor to Santos. Santos keeps it in. Chips it out. All right. And the white ball. Moment to <coughs> ball. Quick, quick, quickly defended by Ashley Waters. Nice little play there. Up, oh, bump from Ramadas, bump go. from behind. A little appeal from Wilmington. Interesting. It's like uh, from behind, not even playing the ball. Yeah. Arms were up. Okay. Not, not a lot of arguing there. All right, where do you think she's going to go? Uh, nobody in the middle. Yeah, to try to play these wide, which is what you prefer right, to do. Look to at do. that. Drops in. One, two. Ramadas tries to turn and shoot. Cleared by Wilmington. Lavin back to receive. Quick pass to Lair. Lair uh, and to M Kimberly. Or Kimberly, sorry. Kept in by Wilmington. Up and over. Looking for that quickly. Cable, nice job. Keep that ball away from five. Okay. Little Waters a little bit of a bump there. You know, there clears it out of bounds. So, Wilmington continues to uh, play pretty well. Yeah, got Definitely some confidence. Well. Yeah. Something was said during halftime that's giving these guys some confidence. And, and it's funny as Belmont's not really seeing a lot of possession time with this ball like they were seeing in the first half. And it looks like, and again, if this entire game is really well, look, it's really compressed within like a basically a 40 yard field yeah. right now. Everyone's in the same spots. Play through. Kimberly, tied out wide to Lair, chips downfield. Nice okay. little play by Wilmington defense, but out of bounds. Belmont throw at 50. <coughs> okay, looks like we got some people warming oh, up here. Oh, there's an over the back, not called. The people warming up, it looks like uh, Lucy Hines, and it might be Danica Zika right there. Looks like she's warming up. Looks like it is. And out of bounds by Wilmington. Again, everything is along the sidelines. Uh, yep. And there's so much wide open space, we could just switch the field. There's, there it is. There's a switch to Taylor. Taylor's calling it. And, and now release. Now you release it up. Oh, and that's on def well it defended is. by Wilmington. Waters picks it off, plays it wide, just misses. Yeah. Play back. Over well, okay, right to Taylor. Taylor had some time, plays it once, one times it, so to speak. Nice take nice down, by, take down by the Wilmington midfielder. And a nice pass. One back two touch, to her. defends well, pushes off well, I should say. Glavin going to clear that out on Glavin's the sideline. Glavin get some time for them to can to get back and defend. <clears throat> I 
again, seeing a lot more time in the Belmont zone this half. Yeah. I mean, and, and it's not, I wouldn't say, particularly dangerous time, but in the way that they play, uh, they're never going to build up a tremendous amount of offensive pressure and quality shots. What they're going to do is they're going to wait for that one mistake, that one error, and if it's on our side of the field and that happens, that's going to lead to the to the goal. Yeah. Lucy Hines and Falsa Kimberly. Good to see Elsa back from the injury. It is. I thought she played well. Yeah, played very well. Waters. Actually, Waters. And a nice ball to, to Ramadas. Ramadas. Back. back to Waters. Oh, ah. I missed, up. missed opportunity there. She had her. Skips through. She's got pressure. Number five's on her back. And goal kick. That pressure came fast. I mean, thank God they were able to <coughs> yeah. usher that out. I mean, it's the, the lesson for the defense. If you're, if you're facing your own goal, you better be running. Mm -hmm. Cable. Sorry, you. Daniel Lair. Daniel Lair. Lairs it down. Yeah, puts it out of bounds. So Wilmington throw at their own uh, 45, it looks like. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see a little bit of high pressure here from Belmont. Let's try and get this ball. Right to the nice throw in, right to the feet. Well received by Wilmington, but turned over. Lucy Hines recovers. You know, come one, two, one, two. Nice transition there. Uh, right idea. Nice idea by Ramadas. A little bit faster. You know, Ashley Waters makes is defending hard here. Again, nice right place, right over. time there. Send it, send She's it now, send, send it. it. She had it quickly. Sepian was able to one touch that and turn. Uh, Hines, same thing. Can she? No, unfortunately not. And all right, here's Waters pursuing. And here comes Taylor downfield. Five's on it. Five's on it. So someone's got to be talking. And it's played through to the goalie. Good job by the defenders keeping her wide. Yeah, those are the dangerous plays, though. Yep. You keep getting her enough shots like that eventually. All right. It's a big punt here. So, okay, first two is Wilmington. That's a handball. Yeah, not called. Not turned, turned over. A couple of those missed tonight. Yeah. Sepian, one, two, keeps the ball. Ah. Uh. It's funny how the ball just finds its way back to her, isn't it? It does. Well, yeah. Yeah. the ball finds the people that are working for it. Yeah, I guess that's true. Wilmington trying to trying to build out of the back here a little bit and just turns it over at midfield. Lair nice back ball to, by to Lair. you. To Ramadas. You know, some of these secondary passes are a little lazy, I'm going to be honest. Nah. I like to see a little crisper, a little bit on. Wide. Why to you there? Uh, you know, as a previous Belmont coach used to say, keep the ball on the carpet. Yep. I mean, bouncing everything all over the place. It's hard to control. There's the, th the ball. ball through. Quick, quick through ball. Donahue's there to collect it. I agree with that to a point, especially with, you know, the way the ball comes off the turf. Sometimes it's hard to collect it the first or second time you touch it. Nice turn by Ramadas. Um, to Waters. And, and, and if you just, these crisp passes on the ground can be so much more effective and it's so much easier to handle too. Anytime you know? we switch the field, we're able to advance the ball up quickly. Yep. And anytime we're just moving in a north-south line directly on that, they're just flooding, flooding that area. Yep. Sadie Taylor with a nice cover on that. Play it out of bounds. Dana Lair on number five. <coughs> Ball's rolling a good distance away. Pretty much going down Concord Ave. Exactly. It'd be nice to maybe see if we could have somebody help out there a little bit on yeah, that. Exactly. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. 23 minutes left in the game. Belmont one, Wilmington zero. Wilmington throw in, and now they sub. Uh, looks like they're definitely trying to take some time off the clock here. Or maybe she's exhausted after having fetching that ball. <laughs> Quick throw in now. Here we go. Oh, off to Ramadas. Ramadas to Santos. That just went two. Taylor tries to clear. Lily Hines, quick turnover, unfortunately. And here's five now. OK, 
Okay, way to, way to stick it right there, that's it. Not Glavin, but five stays with it. Gets the, gets the cross off, cleared wide by Cabral. Yeah, and played right. wide by the Wilmington midfielder. It's a good battle back yeah. there between number five and the entire Belmont defense. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, funny, this got to be careful because, like I said, she's one of those kind of players, it's not going to take much to yeah. knock her over. And you, if and you do it the wrong time, she's going to throw her on your back and uh, she's going to go down. Yeah, and a one nothing game, too. So yeah. it's not like you're. Yep. It's not like you're. Uh, this, is, this is not like this is a blowout. Any, any stretch of the imagination. This is a tight game. All it takes is a quick change like that, and it's a different ball game. I like to see Belmont just try to take a little more aggression in their attacking and a little more speed in their attack, and just kind of just kind of start taking it back yeah, to everybody them. Everybody seems to be a little flat-footed. Right yeah, now. right now this doesn't seem to be a lot of punt and chase. Up, oh, but there's yeah. a breakaway. And there's Hosepian. Five Again, players Hosepian. collapsing on her, and she, she finds comes her way through them all. And she keeps on, continues to go. She stays with it. She gets a shot off, and it's collected by the uh, goalie. Wow. What an effort. I what mean, five players. Yep. Still finds a way to get a shot off. Unbelievable. Yeah, it takes it wide. <clears throat> looks looks for a pass, right, but the yeah. shot was a better Let's option. Let's keep it in there, half of the field. Let's continue to push. Uh, no Play random up. punts downfield, guys. Find feet. Find yeah. feet. Hines back to Waters. Waters back out wide to Sarayu. You with a quick one touch, quick turnover to Wilmington. They seem a lot, they're playing a lot more confident at Wilmington for sure. A lot more confident out of the back too. Yeah, again. Ball's cleared wide, intercepted by Wilmington. As Anna Santos comes back to back check and does a nice job turning it back, but. Nobody there. Nobody there, right back to the Wilmington defender. Was given a couple of different passing options okay. and the ball was forced out of bounds. Oh, but anytime we can get Wilmington passing three times in a row, yep. uh, it's going to lead to a turnover, right? It's not really their game. Their game is going to be is going to be direct attack, run straight at the ball. And wow, interesting call there. That was definitely off the uh, Wilmington player, but yeah. no, there's actually a handball that's let go there too. So yeah, exactly. Uh, so let's. I guess we should keep quiet. Throw in Wilmington. Play down field uh, by Glavin, quickly Santos, <clears throat> Tosepian looks to hold. Again, everything seems to fall right to her feet. Continues <laughs> to work for Again, her, it just still continues to fall to her feet. Yeah. But you can see here the Belmont defense is falling back into the same habit of getting it and just punting it away, yep. right? They're yep. getting a little tired. There's a little bit of pressure on them for an extended period of time. And They'll, again, yeah. we're losing that midfield battle. Those, those attacking, uh, those out outside runs from the the outside backs are now non-existent that we yep. were seeing in the first half. We have not seen that once really in the second half. Uh, not sustained anyway. We might have seen it once or twice, but nothing like, not, nothing like we were seeing the first half. So number five, is she going to track that down? And she does. And Glavin lets her take it for a throw in deep in the corner. Got to hand to the uh, coaching from Wilmington. They made some nice adjustments here. They saw something. So also in the first half, you noticed that they had you know four or five across the back line. Look here now. I mean, two. They yeah. almost they're playing much switched to the same way we were playing. I think fundamentally they're just being substantially more aggressive and attacking the ball and the ball carrier, uh, especially in the middle of the field. Just continual run right at them and make them not make a mistake. Okay, Hosepian's got to hold this up and wait for help. Mm. A quick turnover. She's tried her best there. Turned quickly, turned yep. over though, and Wilmington maintains possession, plays it back. Tries to force right to it up five. to five. Three defenders around her. Again, Hannah again. Glavin again. Waters pressuring. Good job at Wilmington holding up that ball. There you and go. There, there you go. And there there's you a go. And Waters. Waters. Beautiful play. And she hangs on to it. You can see the grabbing of the arm there. Not called. Well, the ref is still 30 yeah, yards behind the ball. And that's a Wilmington yeah. throw. Throw in Wilmington. A quick, field, quick flick downfield. Okay, center of the ball. Taylor. There you go. Tries to play up the middle. Turn over quickly, up and over. This is a dangerous There's ball. Five. Got to be sure here. There you go. She's got to get back now. She's got to get back into the goal. Just got to be careful here at Belmont. To keep her. Oh, Ramada stayed off on that. Yep. Ball bounces in to Don. Yeah. Good job, Emily Don here. 
Well, I would have liked to have seen Ramadas really attack that ball and she let it land. You really got to, can't stand back on that and let them serve it back into the defense. Looks like Danica Zika is going to be coming into the game. After, uh, we haven't seen her since soccer night, so. Be good, maybe inject a little bit of energy on what's become kind of a flat attack outside of uh, Lilia Seppi and uh, Yep, 100 There's a the ball, but. Lily Heisman, nice job here to Saryu. Saryu to put the shot on net, yeah. right on goal. I'd like to see an across there probably. They have yeah. a couple of players available. I think Coach Jemmy was agreeing with that. He was looking for a cross there. Two Hunt. people wide open on the far side yeah. again. They're anything cross field, they're just attacking the ball. Yeah. They're not playing space. They're just uh A little, little battle there. Cable comes out with it. Played downfield, right to a Wilmington defender, being pressured heavily by Hosepian. Kept in bounds by Wilmington. A little one two. Dana Lair staying with her. Cable with the and defense. Cable comes in, closes it out. And it's like a sub, and who's a sub coming in for her? So it so, so looks like Danny. Danica Zika is coming in for Ashley Waters. Ashley Waters, who's played, a, I think, a, an excellent game. I love that last effort play. Uh, almost led to something fantastic. Just played solid. Got to be building confidence as a okay, sophomore so, in the team. So that puts our two defending midfielders at Ramadas. And um, looks like well, Lucy Hines, I guess, right? Uh, yep. The so ref is calling something here. Calling a free kick, it looks like. Or is it a timeout? No, it's a foul. Okay. Referee's calling the ball back for some strange reason. I, I missed uh, what that penalty was and no why idea. it was called 30 seconds after it, whatever it, occurred occurred. Okay, so it looks like they're playing the high line again here. Okay, the ball's in play. Okay, that's the second time they've played quickly. Uh, and Dana Lair on that. And Emily Donio out for it. Good job, Emily. Yep. Nice job by her to get to it. That was a dangerous little play again. Number five is just uh, finding a way. Okay, you can hear Coach Jimmy screaming for them to move further up, bring that line further and further up the field and just creating some space. If it could, did go over the top, it would fall right to Emily Donahue. Okay. Taylor up and over, Lucy Hines. See, Hines Lucy. comes up with it to Taylor. Taylor Santos. There, sent. Taylor again. Ramada steps in front of that. Can somebody control this ball for more than 30 seconds? <laughs> yeah, not, not very clean coming out of the back right now, for sure. And the balls are kind of a lot of passes to nowhere, it seems like. And a lot of ping pong. Yeah, which is kind of helping, obviously helping Wilmington quite a bit. Yeah. Just okay, okay. Let's so settle us down. The back, let's whatever you need right, to do. Right downfield so. again. Let's force it again downfield. And <laughs> the force is a throw in, but you had two or three passes there that would have been yep. probably a little more preferable, a little more controllable. Again, this is, uh, you know, we want to see Belmont when they're playing their best is passing through the middle, making quick pays, a lot of motion. And when we're not playing our best, uh, it's a lot of punt and chase uh, and trying to kick it up to the front line. Got okay, wide. Ramadas playing wide there here go. to Taylor. Taylor. Taylor forces it into Santos out of bounds. Okay, Goulding's now warming up for Belmont. Quick sub here for Wilmington. Okay, we have a throw in deep here. Let's, let's, let's get organized. Okay, so there's some bodies moving in right now. Okay, a lot of bodies <laughs> in there right now. <laughs> and so no one's going to have any space to do anything, it looks like. Okay, it falls yeah. to Zika. Zika comes out with it. To Hines. Nice to Ramadas. pass by Hines. It's a little bit of a slow roller. Sepian, one, two. Sepian, though, still has it. To Lair. Lair with a shot. On net. Oh, and nobody followed it in, but I think it would have been fine. You can hear the coach yelling, got to follow that shot. I agree with him 100%. Yeah. Again, a lot of standing and watching. And uh, there you go. Played down by Ramanas, Lucy Hines. Lucy Hines with a... Tries to do a little... Pitching wedge. <laughs> tries to... My, maybe my pitching wedge straight <laughs> up in the air. Um, his, his Taylor tries Taylor to play it through tries. the seam. T 
telegraphing that pass a little bit. There you go. But Belmont throw. She's quick into downfield. The Santos get up. All right, intercepted by Wilmington. Back for a Belmont throw. I'd like to see somebody no. else show for her as opposed to Santos. Look at the big numbers right there. Again, Belmont throw. Uh, no. Okay, good. Yes. Yeah, yes. Belmont throw. Look, I'd like to see another target. I'd like to see another target. Okay, it's in the Zika. Zika plays at one two. Into and that. it's all over the and over the end line. Not sure she knew where to go with that one. Would have put it personally. She could have been a centering pass into the middle, uh, or a more gentle pass to for something for uh, Anna Santos to run onto. Okay, Coach Jimmy okay. giving Goulding some instruction on what to do. All right. Let's see what see what Wilmington's planning on doing here. They're going long. It's going to be right to Sadie Taylor again. She tries to collect with her head. Okay, stolen by Wilmington. Okay, played There's wide. The break. My goodness, she's fast. I tell you, number five playing it wide. Looking for some help. Played in quickly. Cabral gets it, wins it to Santos. Santos looking for some help. Turns up field. Plays and it off a Wilmington a defender. Belmont. <coughs> Belmont throw. Sub. Sub being brought in. Uh, he's really. Whoa. Uh, the coach, uh, ref. <laughs> not a. Uh, ref is way off on that throw. He actually handed the ball back to Wilmington. Obviously, he did not see it, which was, you know, Bel Belmont's trying to sub. Uh, that was an interesting little turn of events right there. But it's also going to be something to say for Belmont needs to go grab that ball quickly and take the throw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just call it what it is. Don't, don't, give, him the, don't give him the opportunity sometimes. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's go grab that ball. Often, often doesn't get questioned. Yep. All right, Wilmington taking their time. Okay. 11 minutes left in this game. Yeah, it feels long right now. Yeah. We're, we're playing flat. Sometimes, okay, it looks like Mira Gardner is stepping up to midfield as well. Let's run on. Okay, play, th play through by Wilmington. All right, good stick here by Hannah Glavin. Out of bounds. All right, Belmont with an overlapping D, but uh, still. Ball being kept in the Belmont zone here. Oh, no, ref. <laughs> yeah, that's actually used right on that. That's where the ball went out. Okay, well, that was a bad throw, but anyway. Play. Quick that's flick. You got to save that, guys. You got to save it. It's off your own that's player. Oh, no. Oh, whoa, oh. really? Oh, okay, so that looked <laughs> a gift for Belmont. <laughs> Maybe a makeup call there. Maybe a bit of a makeup uh, call there. That should have been a corner kick. That was yes, off that of. Yes, should have been, and they play it quickly, and it's out. Played wide. Oh, no, to nobody. Again, to uh, nobody. Back that, into nobody. That second, third pass. Yep. Just not finding its way to people. There's Golding, though. No, There's that's actually Golding. a Sepian, I should Sepian. say. Golding's still trying to find a way on the field. Lucy Hines. Nice move, Lucy. Got it wide Plays it wide there. to Taylor. Taylor send it now. There she there goes go. off to Santos. Santos on a one-on-one -on -one here. Picks by one. Goes okay. Picks She's one. playing hard. Oh. Nope. And, and there's I, the PK. There's the makeup call. There's the makeup call. <laughs> there's the makeup call from the last one that was missed. Yeah, I'm not sure yeah, that, was, that's that was a, a PK. <laughs> that was a little generous. Um, <laughs> but we'll take it. That last one, <laughs> there's a lot of screaming from the bench. Oh, Glavin is coming up to take the kick again. I love it. Love, Like I said, I love seeing defenders take that kick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the first one we know for sure was bound to kick. And, yeah. and this yeah, one, this it seemed one to be a bit of a makeup call. Yeah. And, you know, it's called from the back line judge for lack of better terms here. So, I mean, that's, you know, those are the things that you got to watch for in games. I mean, you, when yeah. you're an attacker, you got to continue to attack. And players will. All right. Will, Glavin, um, we're about to take the PK. She went left last time. Will she go left again? No. Like goalie, stop. She puts it right at the goalie. Right, right down the middle. Right down the middle. It's wow. one of those things that she's going to collect back. So, you know, soccer god said, nope. Played by Santos. Up the middle is a great shot if you know the goalie is going to pick a side. But when the goalie doesn't move, it's yep. not very effective. Okay, here's Zika. Hopefully, Zika, the quick shot. Yeah. All that's right. What we're looking say, for. This is what we're looking for from the team. All right. Keep it in. Let's keep it in, Belmont. Timeout. Here we go. Timeout. Eight minutes left in the game. Ta timeout, Wilmington. 
Okay, here comes the subs, hopefully, at this point. Well, a missed opportunity there, but... Uh, this is one of those. This is one of those times where you, like, you let a team hang around. Yeah. Right. Yep. They've let this team hang around, and well, the Wilmington has had the better of the ball for a good good amounts in the second half here. So. Yeah. And good for them. Gotten away from what was successful in the first half. Quick passes. Everybody moving without the ball. Right. Giving goes. Uh, an, an entire formation moving forward, and we've gotten into punch and chase. Uh, and that's the danger, I think, when you play a team that does that as well. Yeah. You get flat-footed, you, you stop attacking it. their defense because you just think they're going to punt it. You right. just think they're going to punt it. So, uh, so right now, it's funny, the, the, the Wilmington coach is over to talking to the referees, probably asking, why did you give the penalty? And why is the person the furthest away from the ball making that call? Yeah. And He's happen to agree with him. Happen <laughs> 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 to agree with him. But, but again, the first one was definitely a penalty, the one that was yeah. a missed call. This one around, like I said, is a bit generous. Yeah. But that being said, I mean, it's, it's a good timeout call from the Wilmington coach. Well, just, he's got eight just, minutes left in the game. They're right? in at one nothing. They got an opportunity. The way they're playing to maybe tie this game up. And Use the momentum of that save to, yeah. to kind of you know, say, okay, now Belmont's frustrated at this point in time. Let's use it to our advantage. So right now, hopefully, Jemmy's calming them down, telling them to play their game, tidy up the back, yeah, tidy up the passing out of the back. Yeah. That's 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 Stop probably the punting. one thing. That's probably the one thing. If the probably the takeaway from tonight is the passing out of the back needs to be a ten times quicker yep. and ten times better. And I mean, it's um, it's switch been. the field, look for the player, not that's along the sideline, directly in front of you. Get your head up, look around. They're collapsing on the ball, and if you can get the ball out wide, away from uh, where everybody is running to, there's going to be opportunities. Okay, subs were made. Looks like Santos is taking a break. Golding is in for her. Uh, looks like Lucy Hines is taking a break. Mira Gardner's in for her. All right. Well, I got eight minutes left. So at this point, I'm looking at you got Zika and you got Hasepi in there. You got Golding up front. You got you got a lot of speed up top. <laughs> yeah, I mean you got you, Golding, uh, Zika, and Hasepi. If, if you're not attacking everything right now, um, that's a missed opportunity, right? Here comes the punt. It's not a good one. Right up the middle. Mira Gardner with the play. And a nice play at that. Sepian got to you. Let's, we would yeah, like to see a cross she's got here. got numbers. Can she get a cross? No. Oh. Quick turnover taken by Mira Gardner, but nope. Deflected back in. Dana Lair. And there's the long punt. Five collapsing. Okay, ball tries to keep it in. Doesn't. Goes to throw in for Wilmington. Seven minutes, 40 se seconds left. I gotta tell you, I'm holding my breath on this game. Yeah, it's just one of those things where, again, you let yeah. them hang around. Yeah. Okay, let's see what happens here. Ossepian pressures. Okay. Golden comes to the middle. Didn't get to it first, but again, pressures again, and forces a pass to the outside. Exactly. Zika, Zika's exactly. now pressuring. Golden takes Zika's position up top. Switching back right now. Well, Ramadas defends. Clears it out. Throw in Wilmington. Goulding taking the back pass away. But no one's, no one's taking the front pass away. So, again, the communication in the back's got to get better. The ball's played wide to five. That ball looks like it's going to find its way out of bounds. Yeah. I think we had it, but even still. Um. <clears throat> that pass didn't have to happen. Yeah. <laughs> That's really what it comes down to. You know, that person was not defended. Again, yeah. a little sloppy. Yeah, uh, but again, there's uh, we're not attacking the ball, uh, and we're giving them space. And we know what they're going to do. They're going to send it over the top and Wilmington, hope and pray. Wilmington wins it. Glavin cleans up a little bit. Punt it out. Ramadas is there again. Wilmington, nice pass through ball. There's speed. To Donahue. Donahue, Donahue with, with a nice, nice save. Nice save. She was going long, far post. And uh, Donahue stepped out, closed that angle down, made a nice save. Ab absolutely. Great job with the body. Great job bringing it to ground without coughing it up. Nick Golding will be a little more aggressive here. And how to through two people. Yep. And there's a bad shot off the side. Again, it's we got to get to the ball first. And if they're going to get to the ball first, you need to be on their back, their forearm, and their lower back. Okay, we've got another substitute in. Santos in for Santos you. Give, in for give you. you a break. Five and change left. Great 
Jada Sarah. Taylor, Taylor can't, can't keep it in bounds, unfortunately. Out of bounds. <clears throat> okay. Hard, hard ball to control. Yep, Flo floating away from you. Yep. Let's get organized, Belmont. Let's get organized. Okay, ball played back. Zeke get a pressure. Zika pressure. Up and Chip over. Right to the middle. To Santos. Santos, one, two. Oh. Up, just Santos coughs it up in the middle. What do I miss? Taylor. See to Taylor. Simple passes, guys. Quick throw in for Belmont. It's a goaling, goaling. Nice takedown, but, but no help. coming right behind her. Yeah, she's surrounded by four players there. Yep. Kind of hard to collect that when you have that many players around you. Someone yep. should have showed. Again, a lot of standing around. Yeah, looks like Belmont, Belmont throw again. Keep on going down the line. Maybe well. somebody on the Belmont team could kick her the ball. <laughs> that would be helpful. Yeah. No. Five, five minutes left. All right, we're officially on the ref's time now. Yeah. But given okay. that we started late, I would not figure this is going to end in five. All right, so Gardner pushed hmm. off. Knocked off the ball. Santos back. back. Santos, Santos back. back. Forcing it, forcing her wide. Keeping up with her. Oh, well, that's Forward, definitely. Uh, yeah. Okay, these are the ones that late in the game. Yep, they're gonna blow that whistle. Yeah, That's a right. needless foul. Okay, uh, to take this back to two games ago to, to Wakefield. What was the big complaint for me in the Wakefield? Too many people on the wall, not enough people you know, defending. Yep. They had three or four people left over. They don't need three people on the wall, they need two oh, in the yes. wall. Right over the top. And There's Donahue to it first, thank goodness, and Campbell was out there to defend. You need two people. You just need to take that two people to cover that inside post so your yep. goalie's protected on the inside post. Quick throw in. Oh, quick little flick backward. Center the ball. Ball continues to fall to, to Wilmington. Yeah. Wilmington and back across the middle again. Five. She's going to take that down. Oh, nice play by Sadie, Sadie Taylor. Sadie Taylor makes a great play to and oh, and it's it's a throw, a throw in. in. To throw it. So this right. is getting dangerous, guys. And again, you've got the entire Belmont team uh, playing defense right now underneath, yep. inside the 25-yard line. Yeah, wide, wide open. open. And there's the cross. Right to Donnie, she collects it. Donnie, nice catch. You got to talk. Wide this open, not a body on her. Okay, and this is where your center backs, your goalies needs to be calling players out to make sure they're covering players. Agreed. Up and over, out of bounds. Okay, Wilmington's in their best interest to get this ball in quick. Yeah. Long ball Again, downfield, ball headed throw. to Ramadas. Ramadas. No. Again, another one up and over to, to a defending player. Again, just. Yeah, find the foot of a player, Jimmy Zealan. And correctly so. We've yep. uh, turned this into ping pong, which Wilmington is happy to play, and that's not our game. Here comes the cross, and it's out of bounds. Truly Again. a tale of two halves, you yeah. know? This game right here has been truly a tale of two halves. This is, they've been lulled into a... Lulled into bad soccer. Yeah, That's what 100%. they've been lulled into. Uh, yeah. Chip and chase, punt and chase, whatever you want to call it. Uh, no control. Uh, outside of a couple stellar efforts by individuals, uh, yeah. there's really not been a consistent set of play. Again, a pass to Nobun. Ramadas plays wide to Goulding. If Goulding could just keep her momentum going here. And, all right, that's a Belmont throw. How's that white? Wyatt. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Another, oh, another awful call. Another one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Right in front of us. This has been a... Uh, wow. All right. An adventure. Let's, let's Goulding went out of her way not uh, to touch that ball. Oh, my goodness. Again, Wilmington able to cleanly receive. Uh, uh, now Nora, no, she's Goulding careful, careful, Golding. That's it. Keep her there. Oh, and there's the final uh, the throw or the penalty. Looks like the throw in. Not to kick. It's a kick. All Giving right. up a kick at this late in the game. Uh, I mean, who's on 13? Why is there a wall? 
Why is there a I, wall I don't know there? why there's a wall there. That's beyond me. <laughs> the Danica, the Zika. Zika up one, one, two. Yep. Danica taking on the entire, there it's okay, over the top. Finally got a clear here. She's gonna make a mistake now here on this. Let's see what he has up there. It falls to Goulding. Goulding tries to uh, play nice it across right the idea, mirror. But Glavin tried to shoot ahead of that. And there's the Up over the and top. over. Again, got to be care got to be sure play. here. And that's right to five. Careful. Yep. Careful. This is not a place where you want to be giving up anything right now, especially after the, the, the question saves. of call last yeah. time. Yep. <clears throat> I'm not too okay. sure which referee's making the call. The first half was made by the, fur the furthest side. Uh, I don't know uh, who the official timekeeper is right now. It's Looks hard to like know which one isn't seeing it. Right now, yep. Yeah. Yeah. He's checking his watch. There's a shot. Donahue off her line, he gets to and quickly. another dangerous play though. Literally wide open and able to serve the ball into the middle. Punt downfield. Punt to no Garden. one. Uh, there you go. Garden. Really tentative from Belmont tonight. Just not winning the ball. Just not really tentative. The Just, they're, they're trying to escape this game. I don't even think they're. I think they are. I think they're lucky to escape this game. Yeah. Another deep throw. Golden's got to, got to keep. That's There's the game. There's the end of the game. Belmont oh escapes. Boy. Uh, Belmont a little escapes. one nothing uh, victory tonight, but that was touch and go for far too long, uh, and really a little bit, in my opinion, a little bit of loss of, I won't say composure, but a little bit of a loss of what makes Belmont spe uh, special, right? What we've seen that's really accelerated over the last three, four games, that team passing, the communication, the second half just kind of evaporated. Having okay. said that, a win is a win. Yeah, you take the win, especially. <laughs> you take that W every time. Yeah. Uh, very fortunate to really come out of this with a one nothing win. Um, really, they kind of did their absolute best at times. Maybe you give this give this game away. Yeah. And um, and as far as I'm concerned, they really have to look at this and say, okay, just it's the, the. I think the playbook is written when you're playing Belmont. Just pressure them, pressure them, pressure them, and they yep. seem to lose their composure and they seem to lose their ability to pass. Yep. And as a result of that, it just you get you, you it creates opportunities for you. So they're gonna start to the midfield, and we're gonna jump on. And they're gonna win it first. And every game they've played, where they've basically either lost the game or struggled, i.e., you know Winchester, Arlington, they've lost those 50-50 balls in the middle. Yep. A lot of turnovers, a lot of passes to nowhere, and um, quite frankly, they you know were very lucky today to come out of this with a win. But, but they'll take it. They'll take it. It's a win. They'll move on to the next game. It's an opportunity to learn. And uh, we'll see you with that time. We'll see you then. Marvelous effort, effort from Olivia Sepian that won that one nothing goal. Absolutely. Again, leaving Harris Field, one nothing. Belmont over Wilmington. Thank you so much for joining us.